This video is about loops in basic. There are four types of loops for next, do while, do until, and while bend. The for next loop is a little different uh, from the other three loops. Uh, first, uh, let's do one program. Uh, supposing I want to display the numbers from 1 to 10. Okay, the first line CLS. The CLS is nothing but uh, clear screen. Uh, this is not compulsory, but then it will clear the screen before you get the answers on the screen. Okay, then far, write any variable name. A variable name should start with an alphabet. Supposing if you want to have a second letter, it can be an alphabet or a number. For example, A1, XY, like that. So my variable is A equals, now I want numbers from 1 to 10. So first write the first number, 1, 2, write the last number, 10. Okay. Now the next line is print, we have to print the numbers. Now use the same variable, print A. Okay. Initially A will be 1, the next time A will be 2, 3, 4 and so on. So every time it keeps printing uh, the numbers from 1 to 10. Then last line is next A. Here you have to make sure all the variables are safe. Okay. Now um, run the program. You will get 1, 2, 3 up to 10. So first write the variable that's the initial value, then final value. Print the numbers and next A. A loop is nothing but uh, it, it's used to repeat a certain statement or statements number of times. Here print A is repeated 10 times but we are writing only once. We are giving the you know the uh, statement A equals 1 to 10 that means 10 times it will execute the statement print A. Okay? Then we will do one more program where we uh, supposing if you want to display the odd numbers from 1 to 10. Okay? Then for A equals 1 let's say uh, same because we want odd numbers from 1 to 10 but here the second odd number will be 3 so we have to mention uh, what is the difference between two numbers that is first number is uh, 1 and the second number is 3 uh, difference is 2 okay plus 2 so we have to include something called step value step 2 okay So, the step 2 is nothing but the difference between two values. In the same way, supposing I want uh, the numbers in reverse order, uh, say from uh, uh, 50 to 10, uh, say 50, 45, uh, 40 and so on. The first number is 50 because I want from 50. The last number say 10. Okay. Now, I want the numbers in reverse order 50, 45, 40. The difference is minus 5 not 5 minus 5 because 50 then it is 45 so it is mod minus 5 step minus 5 so you will get the answers like this okay so you have to remember if it is ascending order the first value initial will be small final value will be bigger then step will be value will be in positive whereas if it's in a reverse order the initial value will be uh, bigger than the uh, sorry the yeah initial value is bigger than this final value and the step value also will be in a uh, negative okay now this is about uh, for loop uh, let me do one more program in for supposing if i want to print the squares of numbers between 1 to 10 for example 1 into 1 2 into 2 3 into 3 uh, so i want the numbers from 1 to 10 so write the initial number here 1, 10. Now we don't have to give a step value for plus 1. It's by default it is plus 1. Here I can give a into a. Right. So initially a is 1, so it will print a into a, that's 1 into 1, then 2 into 2, 4 it will give you 3 into 3, and so on up to 10 into 10. Okay, 1, 4, 9, 16, up to 100. Right. So this is about for loop. The next one is do while loop. Uh, and the procedure is uh, same, the, but the syntax is a little different. Let me see. The same program. 
like uh, printing numbers from 1 to 10. All right. Now in FAR, we have the initial value, the final value, the step value that is increment or decrement, everything. Uh, all the values uh, are in the same line, in a single line. But here in do while or while when or do until, we have to split this into different lines. Initial value should be written in a separate line condition or the final value should be written in separate line. Addition or subtraction should be written in separate line. Okay. So now 1 to 10 using do while loop. Let me take the variable x, x is equal to 1. This is the initial value. Then do leave a space while x less than or equal to 10. In far we used to write 1 to 10. Okay, here we have to write x less than or equal to 10, meaning uh, this, these statements should be repeated uh, as long as the value of x is lesser than 10 or equal to 10, lesser than or equal to 10. Okay, now print the value of x. Uh, x is equal to 1 is the initial value, this is the final value, we are printing it and we have to write the increment or decrement value, that is a step value. Here we don't have anything called step but we have to increment like this, x equals x plus 1. Okay, then the last line is loop. Start. So we will be getting the answer like this, 1 to 10. Okay. Now, some, uh, same way if you want odd numbers between 1 to 10, here it should be all other lines statements are same except this here you have to write x equals x plus 2 because first is 1, the second uh, odd number will be 3, x plus 2 that means 1 plus 2 will be 3, then the next odd number will be 5, 3 plus 2 will be 5, uh, five. okay so we have to write x plus 2. Then, so similarly, uh, if you want uh, even numbers uh, between say 10 to say 50, okay, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on. Alright, so here also we can display the numbers in reverse order. Uh, say hand from 100 to 10, 190, 80. Okay, if you want to write the numbers in reverse order, initial number is 100. Here it is 10, we, I want 10, but it can't be lesser than or equal to 10. See, initial value is 100, it can't be less than 10. Okay, so it has to be greater than or equal to 10. Okay. If it is in reverse order, the symbol should be greater than or equal to. And also here it can't be x plus 2 because 100 plus 2 will be 102. But I want 100, 90, 80 and so on. So it has to be minus 10. 10. Right? So 190, 80 up to 10. The numbers from 1 to say 10. Let us take the variable a equals 1. Alright. Then do until a equals 11. It is not a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. It should be a equals 11. Okay. The difference between do while and do until is do while will execute the statement as long as the condition is true. For example, a is less than or equal to 10, greater than or equal to 10. But here do until will execute the statements as long as the condition is false. Alright, so do until a equals 11, then print the statement a, or print the value a, then a equals a plus 1, then All other statements are the same, only here you have to write until a equals 11, because I want numbers from 1 to 10. Alright. So this is do until, uh, this is similar to do while except uh, the do until statement. Okay. Now the third, fourth one is uh, while when loop. That is again uh, similar to do while loop. Okay. Now I want uh, to display the numbers between say 15 to uh, 50, 5, 0. All right. So let's take one more variable called b. The first number is 15. Okay. Then while b, 
less than or equal to 50. Okay. Print B. B equals B plus 1. And here the last well, last statement is vent. While end vent. So run. Okay. So in the previous screen has the numbers before 28. Okay. So up to 15 we have it. Oh, All right. Let me take it. Okay. Then uh, the same way. Uh, supposing if we want the numbers, the even numbers from 15 to 50, okay, then I have to say less than or equal to 50, B equals 15, all are same, only here it has to be B equals, B plus 2, but uh, sorry, this one should be B equals 16, alright, because I want the numbers, supposing if I want the numbers, even numbers between 16 to 50, the initial value should be 16, then B less than or equal to 50 is same, print B, B equals B plus 2. So we will get the all the even numbers from 16 to 50. Same way the reverse values, the numbers in reverse order, supposing say 40, alright, and here it has to be say 40 to 10 in reverse order, 40, 35, 30 till uh, 10, okay, it has to be greater than or equal to 10, right. And here it should be B minus uh, say 5 because I want 40, 35, 30. So it should be B equals B minus 5. And, all right. So you will get the answer like this 30, 25, 20 and so. So this is about loops in basic.